burn, I tell you. <laughs> so you are looking at stoves, are you? I <laughs> try this one on for size. It's quite small. That's smaller. This here is a stove that was made from a V8 and of course a Coca-Cola canister. A couple, three different ones. This one I purchased online from a gentleman who makes white box stoves. You can find them on eBay. They're quite durable, you know. A bit heavy for my liking, but quite durable. And this, of course, is the infamous wallet stove. You can use an Espit stove thing right on the very top. And of course, cans turned into pots. Fosters, yes, I drank that. Heinies, didn't drink that. But I did have all this coffee that came in this one. There are all kinds. Now, this is a, a wood burning stove you saw there. And of course, this is the top to a wood burning stove that I couldn't find the rest of it. <laughs> and of course, the jet boil, the infamous jet boil. Cumbersome, bulky, lightweight, hot. But I just don't like canisters. Nevertheless, go out there and try it. Make stoves. See which one works best for you. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid at all. Why, there's nothing to fear but fear itself. So go, now. Go on, what are you waiting for? Make your stoves. Bye. This is the infamous denatured alcohol used in alcohol burning stoves. I had a bit of food coloring so I can see it better. Nice, don't you think? And here we have parts of the past outweighing itself in its usefulness upon my pack as today's lightweight packer that I have become. But here, in the midst of this rubble, is a very interesting, interesting item. Yes, this is a brass ring that was welded together some years ago, placed upon two rocks with a blazing fire beneath it, has warmed many a meal on a cold, dark, and damp night. I will never let go of this amazing ring of partness. Did he just say partness? Oh, shut up. This is my favorite, my lightweight setup to date. It's only 5.6 ounces and it's amazing. <laughs>